welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we started up the game uh, by starting the, the game? I don't know. By getting the slingshot, the sword, and the shield, and finishing up the first dungeon. And we got three gold skull slows, so that was very nice. And in this episode, I'm actually going to go up here to the, the Lost Woods and just get something out of the way just get something out of the way real quick that I just want to get out of the way right now so um so yeah over here you're gonna notice that there is this uh that there is this what you're gonna want to do is uh hit it in the right place I swear this is so much easier on Ocarina of Time 3D okay come okay this should be right no come on um that should be right there we go, 100, 100, 100, and this Deku Scrub will come out, and let me just turn down the volume on my TV real quick. Cool, you're great! You scored three perfect bullseyes! I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. And we got the... You got a... Deku Bullet Seed Bag! This... I don't know. You got a Deku Seed Bullet Bag, so now we can hold up to 40 Deku Seeds in our pouch. That is amazing. So I just wanted to do that really quick, just because that's something that you actually kind of want to do. Just then, we're going to be coming back to the Lost Woods actually very soon. Um, so yeah, so let's just go to Hyrule Field and just actually start the episode. So, yeah. Alright, so, you may have noticed that there is a sun setting. Um, the day, there's actually a day and night cy cycle in this game. Um, and at the end of the last episode, I forgot to pause the game and I accidentally made it go to night. So, ho oh, ho, Jillian, look up here! This is Gebra Gebra. Look for yourself. It appears that the time has finally come to, to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. This is, that is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. Aho! Go straight this way, and you will see Hyrule Castle. Aho! You will meet a princess there. Aho! If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. Aho! The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the subscreens and Z or R to find the map. Aho! On the map subscreen, you will also see a flashing dot showing which way you should go next. Aho! Did you get all that? Yes! Choose yes! Alright then, I'll see you around! Hoot 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 ho! Oh boy! Yeah. Apparently Gebra Gebra the Owl is Mickey Mouse. Don't ask me what happened there. I don't know what speed I was on. Or heroin, or whatever you want to say, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, we need to travel to Hyrule Castle, which is all the way at the top of Hyrule Field, and we are at the, l the right. So, we want to go to the top, and actually what you, a fast way to do this is just jump sideways. See how fast that goes? Like, look at the map. See how fast we're going? That goes really fast. So... Yeah, that's just a good trick. Um, so, yeah. Alright, we are already here at Hyrule Castle Town. But we actually can't, uh, oh, we actually can't access it until the, uh, the drawbridge, uh, <laughs> until the drawbridge goes back down. And I forgot to explain these guys. These are style trials. Don't be afraid of the style trial. Just attack it repeatedly. These guys are not hard to take down. They are not hard by any means, actually. They're actually really easy to take down. So, um, so, yeah. So, actually, in Hyrule Castle Town, there are some things that we're going to want to take care of. So, um, so, yeah. Not in Hyrule Castle itself, just, uh, just Hyrule Castle Town. There are some things in both, actually, because Zelda's in Hyrule Castle. And, um, and there are actually some things to get in Hyrule Castle Town. So, let's just go into the town right here and go into this place, because... In this place, you can get a whole bunch of rupees by breaking these pots. So, that is really nice. They give you a bunch of rupees. So, yeah, if you're gonna if you need rupees, which I guarantee you that you will for something that's coming up in a few seconds actually. Um, I'm gonna want to need I'm gonna want to actually have 80 rupees for this. So, um 
So, yeah. So that's cool. Um, in these crates, there are actually things. So you just roll into the crates, and um, in that one there's nothing, but in this one, oh boy, this one, there's a gold skull slot. So what we are going to want to do for this one is just, let's see if we can jump attack it. I don't know if we can. Yep, we can. All right, there we go. And you destroyed a gold skull You got a token proving you destroyed it. All right, so there we are. And I'm actually going to um, go out and just come back in to get 80 rupees real quick. And I will cut when I have them. All right, there we are. We have 85 rupees now, so that's very nice. All right, so... Actually, um, what I what I'm doing, you can actually get a discount on it, but it's it's not a very good use of your time because, um, you because it just because you have just have to backtrack. So in here, you might notice that there's a shield called the Hylian because the Hylian shield costs 80 rupees. So we already have our second shield, guys. You got a hill, you got a Hylian shield. Switch to the equipment subscreen and select the shield and equip it with A. Alright, so there we are. We already have our second shield. The Deku shield will still come in handy because this one, we kind of have to duck. You'll see what I mean. See, we have to duck, so we can't really deflect things. We can only, like... No, we can't reflect things. We, But we can uh, deflect things. So, um... So, yeah. Alright, in here you may notice that there is a, um... A, uh... A bullseye right there with an arrow. So, shooting gallery, do you want to play a game? It's 20 rupees per play. Damn. <laughs> oh, okay. Apparently, I need more rupees. So, um... Yeah. I'll just cut to when I have 20 rupees. Alright, so there we are. Um... I got 34 rupees, that's pretty good. Uh, so let's just go into the shooting gallery now and not have any more fucking mishaps. Okay, so this guy. Do you want to play a game? It's 20 rupees per play. Okay! This is a game for grown-ups, and you have to draw your weapon with B and just hit all the targets. So, um... So, yeah. It's kind of annoying, because, you know, it's kind of, uh, you have to hit... Mm! Yes, okay, I usually miss that one. Oh god, um... No! Oh, I missed one. Okay, that's good. Um, as long as you... Damn! God damn it! Ah, oh, alright. Okay, I have to do... I have to get more rupees, apparently, so I'll just see you guys back when I have more rupees. And for this, you get the biggest Deku Seed bag. Oh my god! Oh my god, I had to travel back and forth so many times. And would you believe it, there's still more stuff to do. So actually, what I'm going to want to do here is, um, now that we're in a uh, Hyrule Castle field, actually what I'm going to want to do is, um... Hey, Julian! This way! The princess is inside the castle, just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ho 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 ho! On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you are in Lon Lon Ranch or in the town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well, which way are you going to go now? Ho ho ho! Do you want me? Do you want to hear what I said again? No. Oh, you're a smart kid. Good luck then. Ho ho! Ho oh, boy. Okay, so. Yet another meeting from Gebra Gebra. Alright, so in this tree, there rests a gold skulltula. So, we are just getting all of these. Indeed, we are. <laughs> okay, so we get this gold skulltula medal. We already have five. So, we are already a 20th of our way through all of the medals. So, actually, what you're going to want to do here is 
You're ac I'm actually gonna want to wait this day out here. Um, so yeah, I will just um cut. There's a lot of cutting in this, in this episode. I will just um cut to when it's night because there is actually a thing to do in Hyrule Castle Town when it's night. So I'll just see you guys then. All right, so it's night here in Hyrule Castle Field. So what we're gonna want to do is go to Hyrule Castle Town and just go over here and actually there is something for us to do as you can see there are a bunch of dogs so um yeah all right i just messed this up didn't i okay can i still no okay so i messed this up actually um so yeah um you're supposed so there is um so there is actually a woman in this house, I believe. I think it's this one. I lost the dog, didn't I? Okay, that's a good thing, actually. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this dog right here. Okay, so come here, dog. Come here. All right. Come on, follow me. Sorry about that. Uh, my family was screaming for me, just to um, clarify something. All right, so there's this dog right here. And in this apartment, I believe it's the- Damn it! I always get them mixed up. Okay, it's not that door. It's the other door. Um, I always get this mixed up. I always get- I always fuck this up. Okay. So, <laughs> is this dog gonna follow me? Okay, no. Because I didn't touch it! Dog, I don't want to molest you, but I have to, okay? Come here. Thank you. Okay, just follow me. Follow me- Oh my god, I swear, there's so many- Okay, I thought that dog was following me. Okay, so... This door! I just spit all over the place. Okay. This door. Now this woman, she wants her dog. Richard! This is my little Richard! Thank you! Thank you! I'll give this to you as a reward! And we get our first piece of heart! Collect four pieces total to get another heart container. More containers mean more life energy. So that just explained their... So that basically just explained itself. There are 36 hard pieces in the game. We just collected our first. So, yeah, there's quite a few. The hard pieces, though, aren't the most difficult task in this game. The gold skull toys are. So, yeah, the hard pieces are actually relatively easy for me to get. So, they're not that big of a problem. Okay, so, that actually took me a while to find my first time uh, playing this game. That dog, it took me a while to find. Um... <laughs> to find out that thing that dog that dog okay so over here you are going to notice that there is this little girl and she needs our help hey your clothes they're different you're not from around here are you dot 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 dot, dot. <laughs> oh you're a fairy boy from the forest my name is malon my dad owns lon lon ranch dad went to the castle to deliver some milk and he hasn't come back so what do you want us to do about it are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. <laughs> oh yeah, if you'll look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. <laughs> so we get a weird egg. Feels like there's something moving inside. All right, so, uh, this always happens. Why can't I skip this? I swear. Okay, so, you're going to want to equip that egg instead of the deck of nut. You might notice that I used up a deck of nut cause just because I was playing around. I was just fucking around. Um, so yeah, now we can advance through the, uh, through the field. We're actually going to want to start by climbing these vines right here. What the fuck is going on, I swear. Okay. Okay. This is stupid. Okay. Right here. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. I probably never mentioned this before. Jesus! Okay. I don't think I mentioned this before. Thank you. But this was the first Zelda game that I played, so I love it to death. It's it's not... It's my third favorite Zelda game, second being Majora's Mask, um, first being Skyward Sword. I actually plan to LP all of the 3D Zelda games. So, yeah, I plan to LP... Well, of course I plan to LP this. I'm doing this right now. Um, I'm plan to do, um, Skyward Sword, I plan to do Majora's Mask, I plan to do, um, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, all of those games, they're all awesome. So yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is just avoid- 
Okay, look, a chicken hatched from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life. So, yeah, we got a cuckoo. I... Did I say chicken? <laughs> did I really say a chicken? Okay. It's a chi <laughs> It's a cuckoo. Um, it's a cuckoo. They have weird names in this game, as you can tell. They have weird names in just all of Zelda. <laughs> it's true. So, um... So, yeah. Alright, so... In these plants, there are a few rupees. This tree, it actually come... It actually comes to some sort of significance later in the game. But that doesn't do us any good right now. So... Let's speak to, uh, to Talon! Mumble, mumble. Welcome. The ranch is so Come on in the pool. Okay, so, let's show him the cuckoo. What, Tarnation? Can't a person get a little shy around here? Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Melon was looking for me? I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad, leaving Malon behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Oh, okay. Is she like her? Wa is she like your wife? I love his run. It's just hilarious. She's like me. <laughs> uh, I am having fun doing this LP. Um, probably gonna record another one after this. Okay, so, um, let's just grab this box. Just push it. Just push it. One. Thank you. Okay, so just push it. Push it over here. This is a little block puzzle. I don't really like how um how blocks are pushed so slowly. Then again, it is helpful later in the game. Um. So yeah, there was actually I didn't really explain why, why we're doing this block puzzle because there was actually a passage up there that leads to the Hyrule Castle. So uh, so yeah. I swear, <laughs> I can hear my cat from here. She's just going insane. Whenever um, whenever someone's not um paying attention to her, uh, or just uh, or just whatever, she is she just goes berserk and just starts meowing her head off. It's really annoying. So this is the castle courtyard. This is a, as I like to call it, Hyrule Castle. So um, yeah, you're actually gonna want to stay clear of the guards here. I don't know if this will work. Fuck, that worked. Okay. Never really done it that way before. Um, let's see. Oh, God. Um, this isn't good. So you're gonna wanna just stay away from the guards, just cause if you... Eh, that was... Oh, come on! Okay, well, he saw me. That sucks. Okay, so... We have to try that again. I don't usually fail at that. Um, that's kind of weird that I failed at that, because I never fail at that. But I love the music that, um, that plays during that, uh, that segment. Even though I can't really hear it, because the volume on my TV is, like, all the way down. But I love the music in this, um, in this. It's just awesome. And you should too! I mean, just listen to it. It's awesome music. Alright, so, over here... Yeah, listen to that. That's just awesome music. Okay, come on. I swear, these, this one is probably one of the most annoying. This, um, this guard configurement. What? Are you serious? Oh my god, okay. I have to be more careful. Um, hmm. No, I definitely cannot make that. Alright, let's just wait it out in this bush. Just, um... See, if I could just be a little more patient- Sorry about that, I was just fiddling around with my microphone my headset. If I could just be a little more patient, this would be so much easier. Okay, those green rupees do not feel tempted to get them. I know, they look really tempting. Oh my god. How did- how did that guy not see me? I guess I shouldn't be complaining, but... Did OH MY GOD! He almost saw me. Okay, this one is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, you can see why this one would be annoying. And Navi, Navi is just annoying. Because she always has that thing in blinking. I wonder where I'll find the princess in this big old castle. I wonder! Huh! Maybe at the end of this. Who, f who fucking knows? Like, I don't know. That was just, that was just, that was just fucking guess. I don't, I don't know. 
Okay, and over here there is shit and shit, you know. Um, this is the final one. It's really not that hard. Um, come on. Okay, and we made it to over here. And actually, in this part of Hyrule Castle, um, you can see Zelda over there. She's just chilling by the window. In this part of the castle, there is actually something really cool. You can see Yoshi and Princess Peach and uh, Mario and Bowser. So that's actually really cool because especially cool was that this game was um, developed alongside with Mario 64. So here's Zelda. We should speak to her. All right. Here you are. Exclamation point. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is is that a fairy? Then are you are you from the forest? Then then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? No, because every Kokiri has one. Do you have it? Uh, I, so much pressure. I don't know which one to choose, man. Y yes. <laughs> Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out from of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure, holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Julian. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Julian. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed by down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. No! Yeah, okay. Okay, fine. Okay. Legend goes like this. Oh man. Temple of Time, huh? Seems... seems a bit sketchy. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. Another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Oh, the name of the game! I get it! Did you understand, well, the story I just told you? If you say no, she will tell that entire thing again. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Yeah, sure. You know, I'm a stalker too. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. Look. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance ah, sorry, to my father, I am sure he's not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream. They must symbolize that man. Well, that's a bit harsh! Oh, jeez. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. <laughs> Look at those flowers! They're so, like... Oh my god. Yes, I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. 
By the way, Zelda, what do you do all day? You just hang out here? What Ganondorf is after him must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to the Hyrule to attempt to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world! Julian! Now! We are the only ones who can protect Hyrule! Please. <laughs> Fine. Crazy. Thank you. I... I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. You must not let Ganondorf let the tri get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. Yeah, you'll protect the game. <laughs> you go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get this tri let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him! One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. There we are! We received Zelda's letter! Wow, this letter has Princess Zelda's autograph! Ooh! Okay, so there we go. We got Princess Zelda's letter, which will actually become become come in handy. Um, what I wanted to do actually was just put the ocarina right there. Um so yeah. Now over here there is um there is a woman, and her name you will see her name in a second. God, she has pointy boobs, doesn't she? <laughs> Jesus. Um I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courage You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played the song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Oh yeah. It's Zelda's lullaby. Probably the most iconic song in all of The Legend of Zelda, besides the main theme. Alright, so I just like to play it in time, just because it's fun. So there we go. And we learned Zelda's lullaby. So there we are! And our Ocarina of and our Ocarina sparkles. You know, sparkles! And <laughs> um and you've learned Zelda's lullaby! So there we are! If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. So there we go, and we are getting out, and Impa's going to give us a pointer on where we should go next. So, let's see what she has to say. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. It's quite beautiful, but there are barely any people in it. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Of course they do. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. Of course I should. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. So I'm a royal family member now? Remember, it will help to prove your co connection with the royal family. Yeah! <laughs> the princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright! We're counting on you! What am I? Captain James C. Kirk? I keep going like... We're counting... <laughs> we're counting on you. Because <laughs> the text rolls so slowly. Okay, so before heading to Kakariko Village and ending this episode off, I am actually going to go to Lon Lon Ranch real quick, because there are actually a few things that we can get over there that will be really helpful. There are, as you might have guessed, there are a few gold skulltulas. There, is a, there are actually a gold few... <laughs> oh my god. There are actually a few gold skulltulas in every um, area in the entire game, so of course there will be gold skulltulas in Lon Lon Ranch, but sadly, they only appear at night. Yeah, some gold skulltulas, um only appear at night, and some only appear at day. Well, yeah. And some appear at both. So, yeah. So over here we have Lon Lon Ranch, and you can see Malon over there with her horse, who, will we, will, who we will learn the name of soon. Now, um, you're gonna want to collect a few rupees from these pots real quick. I believe you only need ten. Um, so, yeah. I know, another minigame. So you're gonna want to gonna want to talk to Talon. <clears throat> huh, I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be. If it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. 
It took some doing, but I finally got Malon back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm gonna throw these in, throw these into their gaggle. <laughs> if you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be 10 rupees. Wanna play? Okay, so you actually want to pay attention to where he throws them. You actually want to pay attention to their shadows, and you can, um... So here's one of them, I know that. And one of them landed somewhere over here. I think it might be this one? No. I, maybe it's this one. Um, oh no. I have lost track. Okay, that's another one. And he threw one of them over here, so... This one, maybe? I don't know. This one? Um... This one... This one, this one, let's see, this one. There we go, we got it! That's the last one, you found them all. Come on over here. And by doing this, hey, you, you've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. How do you like to marry Malon? Huh? Yeah! Oh, I was just kidding. Just kidding. I thought you were a little, I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm proud to present you a sample of our very own Lon Lon milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. So, we get Lon Lon Milk. Okay, so, and we get a bottle. So that's actually really nice. We get our first bottle in the game. There are four. Let me just check something real quick, guys. Alright, sorry about that. Just checking something. Um, okay. So, over here, you're actually gonna want to talk to Malon. Because she will actually give us something that is very important for later on. I mean, much later on. So, let's talk to Malon. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hee <laughs> hee. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Aw, she's running away. It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. I love the song, by the way. Okay, so... Oh, cute ocarina. Are you gonna play the song with that ocarina? I love this song. This is just an awesome song. So, we played Epona's song, and you've learned Epona's song! So, there we are, we learned Epona's song, and... Gebra Gebra. <laughs> I hate you. Okay, so, there is just one more thing we're gonna want to do in Lon Lon Ranch, and it actually involves waiting until night. So, um, so yeah, actually... There's, um, there are a few things you want to do. Um, first of all, we want to, um, just roll into this tree. Yes, yeah, right here. There's a gold skulltula right here, so, yeah. Alright, there we go. And you destroyed a gold skulltula. You got a move. You got a token proving you destroyed it. Okay. So, I don't know why I said you got a move. <laughs> just like you got a move. <laughs> okay, so I will see you guys when it's night in Lon Ranch. And we are back. Uh, as you can see, I lost a quarter of a heart there due to some, uh, what are they called? Um, I don't know. They're those, uh, they're those little bone kid things. I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, there are actually two more things we want to do here at night. So, let's just go ahead and do those. Um... So, sorry. Um, so over here, there's actually a gold skulltula. Sorry, I'm just getting really distracted right now. Okay, so you destroyed a gold skulltula. You got a moving... You got a metal... Oh my god, I said moo again! Okay, so over here and... Oh, what am I saying? Ah, I'm stuttering a lot in this episode. <laughs> I've been stuttering around... Stuttering a lot in the last two episodes. Jesus! But Jesus. Okay. 
Okay, so over here you have kind of a block puzzle again. Uh, that block actually isn't really necessary to move. But, uh, but this one over here is... Um, you can do this at night or day, by the way. It doesn't have to be night. I was just waiting to, um, to do this at night, though, because the gold skull to low was there and it was just more convenient. So, yeah. Just doing it because of convenience, really. Um, okay, so over here, you're just... And this block, you're actually just gonna want to push a little bit... Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Um, you're just gonna want to pull it back a little bit, just enough so that you can get back here and, um, enter this thing. And over here, as you can see, there's a piece of heart. Alright, guys, I think that in the next episode of Ocarina of Time, we are going to go to, um, to, actually, we're gonna c go back to the Lost Woods and get something from Saria there. Alright, so I will guess I will see you guys in the next one.